Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new or relatively new, my name is Rochelle. Um, if you guys are following me on social media, you guys may know that I am expecting I'm going to be a mother soon and I'm so excited. Um, and if you guys don't know me by now, I love saving and I, I, like I, I just love saving guys. So um, I just want to do something a little bit different today. Um, since I am going to be a mother, um, I thought I would make baby cloth wipes. Reusable baby cloth wipes. I think these are cute. Look at this. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are easy to make. Um, so what I'm going to do for me, for my baby, is that I'm going to be using cloth wipes and baby cloth uh, diapers as well. Uh, for my baby and um, when we go out, of course, I'm going to be using some disposable diapers and disposable wipes But when the baby is home, we're going to use reusable um, Cloth wipes and cloth diapers and yeah, if you guys are interested in making cloth wipes Go ahead and stay tuned and yeah, it's relatively easy Okay guys Okay guys, first and foremost, um, what I used was old t-shirts that I had laying around that I didn't need anymore. So, I mean, I got a t-shirt. I used, the, the, the material that I used are like the soft one. I made sure that I got the soft one because I wanted um, something soft for my baby's bottom. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is strip out the t-shirt right here. So I'm gonna cut it, I have some scissors, I'm gonna cut it along the seam, like so. So we're just gonna strip the t-shirt that I have. Okay guys, so we're gonna put the shirt to a side, and then I have another fabric that I picked up at the Goodwill um, a long time ago, and I just thought it was time to use it. Um, and then we are going to measure uh, eight inches, so eight inches by eight inches. So here I have eight inches and then another eight inches. Let's see, eight inches is right about here. I'm gonna mark that. We're gonna put a little square. Let's see, so that's where it is. And then eight inches here. Perfect. And then we're gonna cut this out. Okay guys, so now that we have um, the eight by eight cut out, we are gonna take my old t-shirt right here. We're gonna line it up. Okay, we're gonna flatten it out. Line it up, All right? Okay. I'm trying to conserve as much uh, fabric as possible. So yeah, we're gonna line it up, and then we're going to take the scissors and cut it. So okay, guys. So here we have two fabrics here. This is the correct side, the right side up. And then this is the correct side, right side. And this is the back side. So we're gonna get the correct side, the right side up. And then we're gonna take the front side or the right side, facing it down. So we're gonna face the correct side together. And then we're gonna do a, stitch, a stitching here and a stitching here stitching here and then we're going to stitch up until here and up until here so then there's a gap right here there'll be a gap right there so let me go ahead and show you okay guys so we already um, stitched this side this side and then this side and then we did stitch this side right here and this side here and left a, a gap in between um here's another visual right here 
See, we stitch this side, this side, this side, and then we did a gap between. And then uh, you can either cut the corners right here at the end to make a little accent. And guys, so the eight by eight doesn't have to be exact, you know. Sometimes, sometimes right here, you know, like you'll have like like a little bit overlap right here. That's fine. Doesn't have to be exact. Sometimes we know that fabric can like be hard. So we're gonna cut the corners right here. And then we could turn, you know where the gap was, where we left the gap? We're actually gonna turn it inside out, right here. Put this aside. So we're gonna turn it inside out. Right here. What I use actually, you can actually use a pen or anything, but what, like something sharp or something pointy, what I use is a chopstick. And I actually go in and then I press the corners out like this. So I press the corners out like that. You can use any stick you want, like I said. In this case, I'm using a chopstick. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you just press the corners right here like that, see? Make it look nice and then that's where you have, this is what you'll get, right? This is almost the last step. So this is what you'll get and then what we're going to do since we're already here and this this is the last step we you can either iron it and then after you iron it you can sew everything here we're going to do a sew here to make it the last um to make it more sturdy so what once again we're going to sew here sew here and sew here and sew here okay guys so this is the final product this is how it came out I'm really happy how it came out. I'm really satisfied with this product right here. This is how you make a baby cloth wipe. What I'm going to do is um, I'm either going to get like a little spray bottle for the baby and just like spray the baby's bottom and then just give it a little go and then use another one and give it a little go and then wash it at the end and then yeah that's how i'm gonna use it um like i said do what's best for you and your family and yeah i'm really satisfied of how these came out i think these are really cute very cost effective and yeah when we go out like i said i'm going to use disposable baby wipes but when baby and i are home we are just going to use reusable cloth wipes and reusable cloth diapers and yeah if you guys like this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and yeah until next time bye guys